apologize. I think my voice is uh, worse than normal tonight, but I want to talk this out. I want to have the words actually emerge from my throat. Um, because I'm having a moment of singular clarity. I want to footnote uh, bell hooks especially, but um, a lot of what I'm talking about, you know, these ideas are, are God, sometimes I think nothing in the world is new. But what I can give you is literally how it worked for me because I have spent so much time uh, doing the art that that has helped heal me. Uh, I, I held the, you know, I kept the words. And uh, anyway, I was never going to be the kind of person that got excited by how I looked in a mirror. Like, it, I was never going to be able to uh, be a trophy wife or uh, really anybody. Uh, I, I don't like uh, the feeling of being uh, desired because that uh, it was a deep vulnerability. Uh, anyway, we don't want to talk about uh, why I'm uh, becoming a hermit. <laughs> Becoming why I am a hermit. Um, so self love was never going to be that. It was never going to be this idea that I would uh, wake up one morning and look in the mirror and you know start stroking my boobs or you know getting all excited like that. It was never going to be physical appearance. Likewise, uh, it was self love for me was never going to be based on my my family because they they didn't like me very much. Uh, they said they loved me and then you know were abusive and terrible and cruel and that's not love. That's the word, but it's not love. It's I think a form of possession. And I really have come to deeply reject that that idea of the woman as a uh, commodity is compatible with what actual love is. I, I truly and deeply believe we've been abusing that word for untold generations. So for me, what it wound up being was realizing that when I am doing this, I'm waiting for my, my jazz live to come on. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to add color to this portrait, what's, you know, what the rest of it's going to be. Well, I am quiet and still and starting to fall into peace and joy. At the beginning of, of what will hopefully be a, a beautiful night of creating and music and being strong and brave and fearless in this quiet. What self-love is, is recognizing deeply that all of these things giving me such deep and abiding contentment right now are not things I can share until the work of creation is done. I lost, out of self-protection, my family of birth, a husband, a lover, any chance of children. And I will never 
never jeopardize this peace for another again. I will love them deeply. I still love everyone I loved yesterday and two years ago and ten years ago. I just know I... There's something about us that is incompatible and we cannot... I will not be treated the way I was. Because this... This love right now, when I'm just making a mess on a screen where I used to make messes on paper, but that mess will be beautiful when everything is done. And I will have given you a glimpse of how sweet and sad and beautiful it is to be steeping here on the edge of functionality and in so much pain. That's that self-love. That's that's cherishing each breath enough that I can forgive everything. <sighs>